the regulator in this power supply it's composed by R1, which is the resistor, the Cine diode, um, the transistor, and the output capacitor. That is what forms the regulator in this circuit. So let's say that I have 10 volts unregulated at this point. And I want to output 5 volt regulated, okay, across the load. Let's say that my load is 100 ohms. I have a load of 100 ohms and I want to put 5 volts of voltage across the load. How can I do that? All right, so the first thing that I need to do, I need to select a senior diode. The senior diode in this case is acting as the reference voltage for the transistor. The transistor is basically a current amplifier. So if I want 5 volts on my output, I'm going to select a senior diode whose breakdown voltage is equal to 5.6 volts. Senior diode usually the minimum current in order to maintain this breakdown voltage. I mean, should be somewhere around five milliamps. If the transistor start pulling too much current from the diode in order to maintain these five volts, the minimum current, the the current through the diode is going to fall on the on the five milliamps at that point. Uh, the diode would not be able to regulate 5.6 and this voltage here is going to start falling on the 5 volts. So it is important that the transistor doesn't take too much current away from the diode. So this is the I-min. The I-max of the diode, let's say it is 20 milliamps. Right, so basing these two um, Currents, we need to select a resistor that is going to maintain the flow current through the diode within 5 milliamps and 20 milliamps. Um, so let's do the calculations. If I have a senior diode of 5.6, what is the voltage that is going to drop across this resistor? If I have a 10 volt unregulated output at this point, it will be voltage across R1, it will be voltage source, let's call this one Vs, minus the voltage across the senior diode. So this is equals to 10 volts minus 5.6 volts, and that is equals to 4.4 volts. So I'm going to have 4.4 volts dropping on this resistor. If I want to maintain a current somewhere between 5 milliamps and 20 milliamps, let's say that I want my diode to work with, 20, with 10 milliamps of current. Now I need to calculate that resistor. So R1 is equal to um, voltage across R1 over current through the Cine diode. This is equals to 4.4 voltage over 10 milliamps, which is uh, 10 times 10 times 10 to the minus 3. So R1 is equals to 440 ohms. Uh, I don't want to select a resistor in R1 that is too small because then too much current is going to flow in this direction and I want as much current to flow, to flow into, the, uh, into the load. So this resistor needs to be a high value but a high value enough that allows for minimum current through the Cine diode. Okay, so R1 this one here, 
440 ohms. I have 5.6 volts across my dial. So what is going to be the drop of voltage um, across the base and the meter? Base emitter voltage is 0.6 volts. So if I have 0.6 volts dropping here, the rest of the 5 volts are going to drop on the load. Now, this series regulator is the same thing as if you draw it like this. It is the same thing. You have 5.6 volt here. And this is your transistor. This is your load. And this is R1, the current limit in the re resistor. Uh, the, the current flowing, the voltage and the current flowing through the load is going to be limited by the Cine diode. So in this case, I have a 440 ohms resistor. I have 10 milliamps of current flowing through the diode. 0.6 of this 5.6 is going to drop across the base emitter. The rest, 5 volts, is going to be dropping on my load. So if I have a load of 100 ohms, what is the current flowing through the load? Um, let's see. IL is equals to 5 volts over 100 ohms. IL is equals to 50 milliamps. Okay. So if I have 50 milliamps flowing through the load, what is the current flowing through the collector? We can assume that IL is equals to IE, which is the current of the emitter. Take a look at this uh, diagram here. It's basically the same. The load in this case is the resistor of the emitter. And is approximately equals to IC, which is the current of the collector. So if I have five volts across the load, what is the voltage that I have between the collector and the emitter? VCE, voltage collector emitter, is equals to voltage, source voltage, and regulated voltage, minus voltage across the load, low voltage. This is equals to 10 minus 5 volts. This equals 5 volts. So I have 5 volts dropping across the collector and the emitter. I have 50 milliamps flowing through, approximately 50 milliamps flowing through the collector and the emitter. So what is the power dissipation on the transistor? Power dissipation is equals to voltage times current, or current times voltage. So that will be 5 volts times 0 0.05 amps, which is 50 milliamps, and this is equals to 250 milliwatts, okay, a 0.2 watts. What if this is a variable load? If this is a variable load, I need to calculate 
for minimum load conditions because a minimum load this current here can increase so let's say that my load can go all the way down to 5 ohms so now what is the current flowing through here what do I need to calculate on the variable loads? Because if I have a short circuit at, at the load, or, or close to short circuit, let's say one ohm, what is going to happen is that the current through the transistor is going to increase dramatically. And in order for the transistor to increase the current, it's going to start to take, it's going to take current away from the scene diode. Once the scene diode falls under the minimum current of 5 milliamps, it will no longer be able to keep 5 volts constant on the output. So all of these are things that we need to take into consideration when I'm building a regulator. What is the current at that point? So let's say I max, I load max is equal to, um, let's assume it's 5 volts. BL over RL max or min. This is equals to 5 volts under over 5 ohms and this is equals to 1 amp of current. In order to get 1 amp of current flowing through the emitter and the collector, I need to be taking 10 milliamps of current from the base, assuming that the beta of the transistor is 100. Okay, so if I have, what is the base current if my collector current is 1 amp? Current through the collector over beta. This is equals to 1000 milliamps over 100. And I need to have on the base 10 milliamps of current in order to get 1 amp on the collector. So we calculated for minimum the senior, the senior current and the resistor of 440 ohms is going to allow a maximum of 10 milliamps. If we start taking 10 milliamps away from the senior diode, the senior diode is going to stop regulating. Probably it's going to stop regulating way before the load gets to 5 ohms. Um, so, calculating current and voltage on the regulator for variable for variable loads is very important. So, this is the video that I wanted to make. Um, this is a serious voltage regulator using a transistor and a scenic diode. Thanks for watching.